though the opposition looked set to win comfortably due to public anger over food and medicine shortages, plus soaring inflation, the government took 18 of 23 governorships. That left thousands of young protesters furious and disillusioned with opposition leadership. Many had vigorously opposed participating in the election because it would legitimize what they see as a dictatorship. Mello and many others now see the protests, which left 125 people dead and thousands wounded or in jail, as a waste of time. They have little stomach to return to the fight and view the leaders of the opposition Democratic Unity, MUD, coalition as traitors for abandoning the streets in favor of a ballot they believe was rigged by the Promaduro Election Board. Their disillusionment heightened this week when four of the five winning opposition governors with the Democratic Action Party broke ranks with the coalition to swear themselves in before an all-powerful legislative superbody that Maduro's foes had vowed never to recognize. I'm totally dejected because after all these protests, the election, nothing has changed, said student Javier Lara, 18, who watched a fellow protester die in unrest in the volatile city of San Cristobal on the border with Colombia. Like many young Venezuelans, Lara now plans to head abroad as soon as possible, to Peru in his case. We've been sold out by the opposition, he said. All over the place the Democratic Unity Coalition finds itself in crisis. Its strategy of contesting the gubernatorial elections backfired spectacularly. In the wake of defeat, stunned opposition leaders could not even agree whether to pursue fraud allegations with some refusing to accept the election results and others publicly admitting defeat. A breakup, or reformulation of the coalition, now looks inevitable, with a new strategy and possibly fresh blood needed for the 2018 presidential election. Though polls routinely showed the opposition had majority support, many Venezuelans view their leaders as an elitist group out of touch with their problems. The mud is all over the place, said Antonio Ledesma, a veteran politician and former opposition mayor who is under house arrest. The international community deserves an explanation of our behavior. To stoke his foe's disarray, Maduro has urged Democratic action leader Ramos, a hate figure for some younger opposition supporters, to stand in the next presidential vote. Get ready for 2018, I'm waiting for you. Maduro said this week, exulting in the opposition's chaos, backstabbing and divisionism.